All right, welcome to episode three of this series. So this episode is gonna be about creating a workshop collection, workshop DL and server DL. Now, the reason I'm packaging these into a single episode is because often workshop DL is kind of mixed up with the whole workshop collection thing. So basically you can create a workshop collection and that will automatically download your server and update each time it launches. Now, this is really handy for some people, um, but people often confuse it with workshop DL and that is what will cause people to download workshop items when they're joining your server. Um, and on an alternative to workshop DL is FastDL, and you see a lot of servers saying they use FastDL. Now, FastDL we will touch on, but we won't go through it too much because FastDL is really old, it's slow, it's not as reliable as workshop DL, it's not something we wanna be pushing people towards using. You really should be using workshop DL everywhere you can because it's faster, it's better. It's just all around the modern way to do it. So let's get this started with actually creating a workshop collection. So you can get your server to download a workshop collection every time um, it launches. However, this won't make people automatically download the content. You've got to do that yourself. And we'll go through that in this video. And there are add-ons that will kind of make it easier. Like they automatically add all of the workshop items that are in your server's collection to the download queue but that's not necessarily a good thing. And we'll go through all of this hopefully in the video. So um, to create a workshop collection, it's uh, a little bit hard to find the buttons and stuff. So you wanna come over to your Steam Workshop, um, come over to browse the workshop in Gary's mod, um, and then you wanna hover over this browse button and click collections. Now you're in the Gary's mod collections. So you wanna click create collection and you wanna create your own collection here. So let's give this a name. Um, you've gotta select an image, I think. This is the annoying thing, you've gotta select images. Uh, let's try and use this. Um, uh, it doesn't really matter what you use. Um, you wanna have this top one checked for this. And then you only really wanna check one box, which is this one, server content. Um, now you should put to save it and you should then be able to either click on this tab here and this will show um, items that you're subscribed to in the workshop. Or what I would do at this point is just kind of go back to the Steam workshop. Um, now, what you want to do now is add in a few items to your workshop. So let's add this. You just come over here, click on add to workshop right there. Look, you'll get a pop up, select that checkbox and you're done for this item. Um, if you want to remove it, you do the same thing and you just uncheck the checkbox. Uh, so we've added play and no collide or what else we want in our workshop collection. Um, let's add these player models because why not um, what else do we have uh, I don't really know what I want to add um, and let's add this SH rewards content even though I won't do anything why not great add on by the way I advise you guys to get this on Gmod store if you can um, really cool developer anyway totally off topic let's stay on topic so we've added some items to our workshop collection now we want to go back to our workshop collections. So to get your workshop collections, you just click on your workshop files here. Go over to this collections tab and we can see our, collect well, our workshop collection here. So you want to click on this. Now this won't be published yet. This is where a lot of people get confused. They'll add the items to their workshop collection. They'll come over here to get the workshop collection ID, but it won't work. And that's because you need to click this blue publish button. So make sure you click this blue publish button. Now, now we've clicked that, we can um, just get the server to download the collection. But first, I'm gonna actually go through one thing. So you want this um, this number here, right? So we went through, we were using this number a bit in the last video, if you watched that. But one thing I didn't go through in the last video is how do you get this URL showing up? Because some people don't have it by default. And I should have gone through this in the last video, but I forgot. But for this video, what you wanna do is you wanna click on the Steam button up here, click on settings, it'll open up the settings, come down to this interface tab, and then you wanna check this display Steam URL address bar when available. 
um, and once you click that you might just need to refresh but at that point this should be showing up so what you want to do is you want to come over here and you want to copy this where it says ID equals so we can see here it says ID here equals and then a number this is the ID for the workshop collection so we want to take this ID and we want to come over to the startup parameters and we want to find the workshop collection we want to drop it in there click on update workshop parameters and you'll see that it adds it in here um, you don't need an author key anymore we don't actually do anything with this we just leave it there to stop people asking it is literally not even using Gary's mod anymore so you can leave that um, so now what, we, now what we want to do um, to get our server to download our workshop collection just hit restart or if it isn't running in your case then click start and it should start back up and there we go we can see it's downloading the things from our collection so if we go over to our Gary's mod folder um, one thing I'll also say is a lot of people think that it's still downloaded to the add-ons folder that's not where workshop add-ons are actually downloaded for the server anymore you want to go in this cache folder then SRCDS and this is where they'll be so one of them is only downloaded so far um, but here it is and um, you might want to occasionally delete this um, SRCDS folder uh, because it can take up a lot of space and sometimes it will have add-ons in there that aren't in your workshop anymore so it will be taking up a lot of space that you don't need to take up so I advise sometimes maybe just deleting this cache folder letting your server re-download the things that you're currently using and it will sometimes save up like i've seen it save up like 10 gigs of space before so that is worth doing every now and then so now our server's running it's downloaded our workshop items we can see here um and that's that's literally it to do a workshop collection it's really that easy so now what we're going to do is we're going to go through workshop dl and fast dl so fast dl is um, a really old um, version of um sort of a really old way to download files to clients so we do have FastDL here, and for the people who should be using this, they will understand from this uh, alone kind of how to, to use it. But um, what, what, I, what we do advise you to do is, um, if you've uploaded the map manually into your server's maps folder, so Gary's mod, maps, and then here, or in an add-on, and then it's like in add-ons and then a map, I advise that you run the FastDL sync um, I'm not going to run it because it takes a while um, because we've got like a actually it wouldn't but I'm, I'm not going to run it anyway because the like, it's just time um, but you guys want to run that and then it says here look to enable fast DL for your server you want to go here now you probably don't want to ever run it again you only want to run it once when you've uploaded the map manually um, and you want to just add this line into your cfg slash server.cfg so let's go over to the server.cfg and I'm going to get a pop up in a minute I think and you guys are going to have to ignore that because something is just about to finish rendering um so serve.cfg so if we go in here we can add it wherever so i'm just going to add it under the loading screen um put it in some brackety things and there you go job done um that's all you need to do um now that why i'm not saying that you should do that and only really run the fast download sync once when you've uploaded the map is because maps are the only thing that fast dl is really that useful for some people and it's a very very small amount will have their game set to only download maps through fast dl and not download any of the content so those people won't be able to join if you don't do this now i don't even personally do this on my own server because it's just such a small amount of people and like they find the workshop item anyway and it's it's really like not worth your time but um if this is something that you want to do then that's the only thing that i would advise you to use fast dl for otherwise forget about fast dl just just ignore it you do not need it what we're going to do now is workshop dl so how do you get players to download the items from this workshop collection how do you do that um and you can use workshop dl for maps too um, and it will work for most people. It's just if they've changed this setting to an extremely rare setting, then um, they'll have issues. Um, but normally these people will then also be missing all of the other content too. So they want to actually fix the issue before they play. Um, so um, you don't want the players to download everything. This is why I said you don't, you don't really want to use those tools where they automatically add everything to the download queue because for example, with this player no collide add-on, right? This doesn't have any models, it doesn't have any textures, it just makes players no collide. 
So why do the players need to auto download this? They don't, there's really no need. So if you add this to your server's workshop DL, people will download this for no reason and it will just slow down the downloads. But for this, for example, for SH rewards content, you definitely want players to download this because this is the content for, a, for an add-on. This is the materials and the buttons and stuff. Same with this, the models. These are models. You want players to download these, otherwise it would look like errors, won't it? So um, what we'll do is we'll add these two items to our workshop DL, but we're not going to add this one because only the server needs to download this, and this is now a collection. So our server is going to download this every time it starts up, and we don't need to worry about that anymore. So what we're going to do to get players to download these other two items is we're going to go to our server, we're going to go to the Gary's mod folder, and then add-ons. And people do this one of two ways. So often what they'll do is they'll go to the Gary's mod server, Lua, or Iran server, and this is where they'll create a file called sv underscore workshop.lua. I don't advise you do it in here, because then if you're moving your server to a different hosting company, you might forget that file. So what I advise you do is just create a folder in your add-ons folder, um, and call it custom content. Um, and you can use this for any random things that you want to put into your server's Lua folder normally and you just add it here And that means when you want to move your server you just download your add-ons folder your data file folder You know and you don't need to worry about those random raggly files around um, so what we'll do is we'll actually um, Create so we want to create a Lua folder And then we want to go into here and then we want to create a auto run folder And now we want to create one last folder, which is called server. Um, so now we want to go in here. And you can, by the way, just, if you wanted to, you could have, say you're in the add-ons folder, you could have literally just gone like, with our file manager and click OK, and it will create all of those folders for you in order. But I'm, I'm doing it manually because um, some people don't have our game panel and also um, just to make it a bit, this is the pop-up. This is just to make it um, a little bit uh, easier for people to understand. So um, you can see up here, look, Gary's mod add-ons, custom content, Lua, or a run server. Now, the only thing you want to avoid is using capitals and folder names that could avoid, uh, that could prevent the add-on from loading. But other than that, this is essentially, look, if you look at this Lua or a run server folder, right? If we go back to our Gary's mod folder and go into Lua, Auto run server. See, we just added slash add ons slash custom content there, and it's basically the same thing. Um, and this is just very easy for you guys to keep clean. So now we're in our um, Lua auto run server folder. We want to create a file uh, and we want to name this sv underscore workshop.lua. Um, you can name this anything you want, um, but this is just the common name that people use. Um, you probably want to come down here as well if you're on our. Um, thingy and just select Lua um, because it's obviously a new file it doesn't know what a uh, sound text is now that would just color it nicely for you so now what we want to do is we want to make players download add-ons right so for each each add-on you want players to download you just type resource dot add workshop and then you you can see look as well here it's got an X um, that, 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 that means that there'd be an error if this ran, there'd be a lure error. So um, this is something that's like custom to Crite. There's a few things that I'm using that are custom to Crite, but this is just like a little nice thing. So um, it kind of, you know, prevents errors before you actually restart your server. So we don't want players downloading this player no collide add-on, no custom content, they don't need to, it would just waste time. It doesn't do any damage or any harm, but it just wastes, it just takes them longer to join. And obviously we want to cut that down, don't we? So um, we've come over here, we've got this, um, this Star Wars models add-on, right? So um, I've just copied the URL to it. We want to get this ID, and that's what we want to stick in these brackets, look, in them speech marks. So I'll actually zoom in so it's super clear on the video. Um, so we want to do this for both add-ons. Um, and once again, you see that X there? That's actually pretty nice. Uh, Trickster did that over on Team Crident, and... Uh, did a really good job with that Lewis Antex highlighting. So go give him some love if you see him around in our Discord and stuff. So this will download the um, Star Wars um, RP models, and then this is also the uh, the SH underscore content add-on. Now you might be thinking, okay, this is cool and all, but like, um, you know, when I remove an add-on, I don't want players downloading it. How am I going to know which one it is? 
I'm going to have to go to the workshop add on, find this thing, and then search the file for it. Yes and no, you can do two dashes and then you can make a comment, right? So this, this won't run as code. Anything after this line won't run as code. So what we want to add here is, um, you know, anything that you can use so it'll make sense to you. Um, so you can also go ahead and like, you make it even even easier for you. You can go here and do something like, um, do like that and then, you know, you put all your models under there and then you go here and you put like, you know, and then this, this is easier for you to kind of track everything. Um, and then once you've done that, let me just zoom out because I'm zoomed all the way in. Um, so once you've done that, just click create file. It will save it. Then you can return to the file manager and there it is. So now if you open that back up, you can see it will automatically have Lua. Um, Santex highlighting because it's a dot .lua file um, and we've got our um, content here um, and you can just go ahead reboot the server and we'll see that it says uh, mounted add-on slash custom content uh, near the top and once you've seen that that means you know you're good to go so there it is right there adding file system add-on so that means if you join this server now people are going to download those files that you've got in your um, workshop DL. I will do a very basic thing for um, FastDL. Um, so for FastDL, you have to do a similar thing for every file that you want people to download, um, but um, it's a little bit more complicated. So let's say that you want people to download a material. You would do resource.addfile, and then it would be like, materials slash um, your material.png and that's how you would add like a fastdl file and you've got to do that for every file you want to download through fastdl there are ways to speed it up and automate it um, but like i said we're not going to go through that because people shouldn't be using fastdl anymore so that's that for this video i uh, hope you guys found it useful uh, the next video that we're going to be doing is installing dark RP and dark RP modifications. So this is where it's going to start picking up some pace. Um, I hope you guys have a really great day and I hope to see you on the next video.